Now let us start the next topic which is dynamic memory allocation and deallocation. Right. So what is mean by dynamic memory allocation? So already we have seen uh, in the beginning of the class we have seen the difference between uh, C and C++ right. So the difference between C and C++ we have seen. Uh, so uh, regard related to memory allocation right. So in the case of C programming uh, malloc will be used right. malloc and malloc will be used for dynamic memory allocation right. Uh, and then and for contiguous memory allocation which means uh, for group of variables right so those concepts we have seen for c programming in the same way in c++ for dynamic memory allocation and deallocation we will be using two operators uh, so for memory allocation we will be going for uh, new operator and for memory deallocation we will be going for delete operator right so now let us discuss one by one so first uh, here what is mean by dynamic memory allocation, right? So allocating the memory during runtime is called as dynamic memory allocation, right? So uh, here the dynamic memory clear is known as dynamic memory deallocation. Okay, so these are the two things we have. Okay, then what are the operators will be used? New and delete operators or the memory management operators in C++. Okay, so in C programming we have used the function, right? malloc, calloc and free. Okay, similarly here we have new and delete operators. And then an object can be created using the new operator and it can be deleted using the delete operator right and and data object created using the new operator can be destroyed using the delete operator okay so these are the definitions about memory allocation and deallocation related with new and delete operator now let us see the syntax right so for a single variable allocation or for the single value allocation we will be going for this syntax pointer variable equals to the keyword new and the data type right so if it is a group variable, pointer variable, colon, new, data type and then size we need to specify. Right. So these are the syntax for new operator which means memory allocation. Then what about delete operator? So if your data object is not needed, it can be destroyed to release the memory space during runtime. Okay. So for that we, we will be using the keyword delete pointer variable. Right. So which we have created previously. Okay, and for more than one value, if we are going to use, so if it is more than one value, it is nothing but an array, right? So the size specifies the number of elements in an array. So delete within square bracket size and then pointer variable terminated by a semicolon. Okay, so the, now we need to discuss what are the advantages we have uh, of using this new and delete operator uh, with respect to malloc, which we have already, right? Memory allocation. So here it automatically returns the correct pointer type. Okay, so here typecasting is not required. So automatically it will be uh, giving the uh, correct pointer type. Okay, and uh, it is possible to initialize the object while creating the memory space. Okay, so the object initialization also will take place uh, during the memory allocation. And this new and delete operator can also be overloaded. Okay, so that is one of the important concepts which we have in C++. So in the next uh, topics, we will be discussing what is mean by that overloading, operator overloading. Okay, so that concept is all, uh, that is also considered as another advantage. So let us see one simple example for this new and delete operator. See here, I have created one variable x, right? And I have another pointer variable called pointer y. Right, so y equals to Amberson x. So just like the uh, normal pointer uh, declaration, how we will be doing. Right, so next uh, pointer variable equals to new int of ten. Right, so here uh, I am going to store some set of value. Okay, so it is not a single variable. Some set of values I am going to store here. Right, so I have given the size, and then I am going for a for loop. Just I am going to print. Uh, the value from uh, 0 to uh, 0 to uh, which means the first five values I am going to print here right I am going to store it in y variable y okay and then uh, next for loop I am using where I am going to print all the values so here itself I can go for 
here itself i can go for one see out statement but instead of that again have written okay so to show that uh, each and every uh, value how it is printed okay so once this process is finished then i'm going for delete and uh, i'm just giving the square bracket no need to specify the size just we can give the square bracket right why so how many uh, values has been allotted and all the uh, memory spaces will be deleted once it comes for this particular line okay so what is the meaning here so when we give here the entire 10 memory location will not be allocated right so during the runtime of this particular program the how many val uh, how many memory locations are required those things will be allocated right so since we have declared it under with the help of new right so we have used the runtime memory allocation operator new so during the runtime of this particular program the memory will be allocated and once it comes here the memory will be deallocated right so let us see one example program for this Okay, so the same program I have written here. Okay, so we have uh, created a dynamic memory allocation with the help of new operator for the variable y, right? And we are using the delete operator at the end. So let me execute this program. Okay, so let us go for clear screen. Okay, so can you see the value? So here, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so I think, okay, I have given i less than or equals to 5. So which means starting from 0, the first 5 values will be printed here. Right, so if I give the end line here, now it will be more clear. Okay, so we have printed values from 0 to 5. So for how many uh, for how many values we have we asked for the space? So the size we have asked for ten values, right? So since it is a new operator, if it is normal array initialization, when we have uh, declared the array at the time itself, the memory will be allocated, right? So in this case, it is not like that. Since we have used new operator during the execution of this particular program, the uh, memory will be allocated right so at, and at the end of the execution of this program since we have delete operator so the allocated memory space will be deleted dynamically right so this is the working concept behind new and delete operator